we're early birds today <laughs> and we are going fishing. We are on our big boat right here in our home waters out of Boynton Beach Inlet today. And we're the first ones on a Friday morning, you, you know you're early. So we're gonna try and catch some bait. Then we'll do some trolling, maybe some bottom fishing, and we're taking you guys along with us. And uh, maybe even like run out from Ahi. Like there's just a mixed bag today. Yeah. Who knows what we're we got doing. the boat loaded down, and we're taking you guys along with us. Putin's looking to get some dinner. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got to get out there because nobody's still here. We've All right, been let's here go for a few minutes. It's awesome. Oh, nice. Nice. Well, let's see. Woo! <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. All right, guys. We're catch actually went to one spot and totally failed, and we're now surprisingly catching some bait. Yeah, as the sun is coming up, this bait bite is getting pretty good. Oh, keep losing them. Nice. There's still no one out here, except like one other boat so far today, and he's right behind us. Nice big pilch. So uh, working on almost two dozen. Yeah, Dar's using the sabiki. We use R&R uh, &R sabikis, it's fluorocarbon. Bait's expensive, so don't try and save on sabikis. Yeah, sometimes you go through a lot in one morning. <laughs> yeah. Let's go sizzle. All right, we'll take one at a time. All right, so we're just prospecting around, sometimes doing a little bit of trolling with the Zabiki, and otherwise just prospecting around and looking on your our low range depth finder. And then when you catch one, you just keep going back to the same spot. It's not rocket science. All right, time to go fishing. That was awesome. I mean, we caught like three dozen fat baits in Boynton. And if you fish out of Boynton, you know, that's quite a task. And as Putin always says, Anybody can catch fish, it's the bait that's hard. You don't worry about catching fish, you worry about catching bait. You learn how to catch bait any day Fresh of the baits. year, you ain't never gonna have no more problems. Fresh baits, sharp hooks. Fresh baits, sharp hooks. Like uh, Captain Marciano taught us. Drop it back, I'll do that, I'll do that. You gotta drop it back. Right here, 160. Ugh. Tight. We're tight? The sailfish. Fish on? No. The sailfish. He's whacking it? Yeah, I think so. He's still whacking it? Oh yeah, he's whacking it. Maybe there's something on there now. Alright. Can we get the long line or just real? Oh, I got something little on here or not. There's nothing on here. You don't got nothing. Let's go sizzle. Eat him. I feel like he's just gonna bend over. Kurt's Ooh. ripping me. Yeah, I know. He's been like tapping him this whole time. All right, so we switched up to uh, drifting some live baits if we caught him today. We're hooked up. And Darcy's hooked up. Got my bottom rod down, and we kind of are in an area where a lot of drift boats are, aka party boats. And that's always a good tip. <laughs> you can just follow the area. boats. Yeah, yes, it's a good tip. This will do an area that they fish. Yes, it's a good tip. Just cheat. All right, fish so all the fishing is just following people. Hopefully we got something good here. Hopefully it's have a, a tree from the bottom. Not digging too hard. That's what she said. Hopefully it's not a big old blue runner. It better not be a big old blue runner. 50. Oh, come on, now and down to daddy. There you go. Let's drop it back in the water. It's red. Drop it back in the water. I am dropping it in the water. It's a grouper. It's a little grouper. He's tapping that. That's so cute. All right. Nice work. Circle hook doing his job. Ow, ow, ow. Even though I had a glove on, he chewed the hell out of my finger. Yeah, circle hook right in the corner. Yes, they got teeth. Careful. They got teeth, corporal. That's so what she said. Oh, Jesus. He's so flippy. All right, we're awful so shallow. We're just going to throw him right back down. Yeah, toss him right back down. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Jesus. There he goes. He's the good. Drop my hook. All right. Broke out the skunk. Broke off just, the skunk. Now we're gonna catch the big one. Now we're gonna catch a big one. All right, I got some flat lines out. The drift is a little fast for bottom fishing, but we got live baits. So we're just trying this area right now, kind of. Exploring. Exploring, covering some ground. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. All right. Oh, we're wait. tight. And, and we're tight. Nice job, Dar Sizzle. Got another fish coming up. We got Ooh. a real woman. Some drag there. I know that was nice. He has the drag locked down pretty good usually. Maybe not in Boynton because we only get baby fish here. What just happened? You lost my fish? He's swimming towards you. How did he just pull off? Because you stick at fishing. I don't feel him. I know. He may be floating. 
Oh, you lost them. You just cut me off. I might have been a king. There's no fish, take it off. All right. He was a king? He didn't seem like a king. It was really weird. Right on the bottom, well, it was a little up. And then I started free lining it back to him and then it just started smoking out. He might have came back around and grabbed it. No hook? I don't see no oh hook. Oh my God, I have a hook. She has a hook, all right. She had a great oh. fish and she lost it. She stinks of fishing, everybody. I don't all right, let's try again. We moved out a little deeper. We're trying some different depths and see what works. Eat it, bro. <laughs> let's go, Sizzle. He's on. Sizzle got a fish. Oh, please stay hooked, baby. You better you bring it up or you stay Ryan hooked. Ryan is taking drag. <laughs> Get that grouper up. Now she's fighting. It's really she's... fighting. Good, you should be really reeling. I'm really trying. <laughs> We are fishing. Mark that. Mark that? Just so I know where that is. How do I do that? I even Get do your that. gloves. I got them on. I have a lot of scope out. Come on, baby, come on. Baby. Come on, baby. Had a lot of line out. This is the land shark fish of the day. See what it Don't is? It. I'm not jinxing it. It's a fish at least. Still on a hook. Could be a bonita. I'm getting ready. Go. Leave I it in the water. Am. Leave it in the water. It's in the water. He's not that big. Or he's, or he's floating. floating. He's floating. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, oh yeah, mark. baby. Yeah, baby. It's a nice we'll one. It. We'll take it. We'll take it. Get him in. Nice one. Yeah, That's a good fish for Boyton. Nice. Nice Hook fish. Hook is right in his mouth. Nice fish. Good job. That's a nice fish for Boyton. That's 150. my baby in Boyton in many years. That's yeah. a beauty. Let me get a bait right back down. We found him. 150 feet of water. We found them. He exactly acted like a mutton. I think they're in his depth. The nicer ones. What is this? You guys ask about this all the time. What's sticking out of this fish's mouth? That is his stomach. His stomach has been pushed out of his uh, belly due to the expanded swim bladder inside of him. And basically this is a form, this is barotrauma. This is what fish experience when they come up from deep water very quickly. But look how pretty that fish is. He's actually kicking pretty good, but his teeth will more than likely pop that and then it'll shrink and go back down yeah. in his mouth. Beautiful fish. If we were sending him back down, he would be totally fine with the descending device, but we're not. We're keeping him for din din. <laughs> good job, Nice Sizzle. fish. Heck good yeah. Job. All right, I'm gonna stop talking and get a bait right back nice. out. Getting bit? No, I'm not getting bit. I'm, gonna tell him what, I'm not getting bit. Just gonna oh. tell him what we're doing. He turned on the radio, so I was like, what? Yeah, yeah. So Darcy, again, we're kind of just prospecting. Darcy is basically bottom fishing uh, and we're drifting and she's using a live bait so you can really do that. So she has the bait on the bottom with her standard bottom rig. Yep. Uh, over here I have a flat line, which means it's just on top, no weight or nothing. And I actually have a little piece of a wire on that and a little treble hook with one of those pilchers we caught. And then over here I have a weight on the line, like a half ounce or an ounce and a pilcher again on straight mono. And so that's kind of in the middle. So I got the top, a middle, the bottom, we could put more lines out, but we don't have a ton of bait and this seems to work for us without getting all tangled up with two people and filming and everything, so there you go. Good point. We do not have a ton of bait, but we're getting the quality bites so far. Well, we got one fish so far. And then a bunch of cutoffs. <laughs> what am I talking about? A bunch of cutoffs, so I put the wire on and maybe we'll catch another kingfish if I have to. Or sailfish. Yeah, I'm trying to avoid, we got a sailfish bite before too, but I'm trying to avoid that as well. <laughs> trying to avoid, we're trying to avoid, Jeez. mostly avoid catching fish. We're trying to avoid catching all these fish here. Yeah, we're trying not to catch a kingfish and we're trying not to catch a sailfish. So we caught a mutton so far. Oh. Oh. And Darcy has new sunglasses out. Oh yeah, I do. Do you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, he's on it, he's on it. Right. Same depth. Same depth. All the fish are on 150. We're gonna see if she gets another bite here. Keeping the bait. I mean, we're drifting pretty fast, like two and a half knots. And like Brian said, I'm fishing on the bottom, but I can feel there's a fish playing with my bait. But I'm also trying to keep like the weight a little towards the bottom because that's where the snappers live and the groupers. So I'm just slowly letting some line out. So anyway, Darcy's, you know, Darcy has a line of sunglasses, the Revo. All the, they were sold out, you guys bought them all. And now they're back in stock. That's the Mahi and the Sailfish lenses. And we have a brand new glass lens. Yes, it's so exciting. The Doonji, it's awesome. And you can use Darcy's code, Darcy's third to save 30% off. And we'll put the link down in the description below. Mm -hmm. What am I wearing? What, what, what am I, are these the Dunes? 
Yes. Yes. You were wearing dunes. These are dunes right here. Prototype, I think. They don't have the D on them. And Darcy's wearing the, what are you wearing, the Selfish? Yes, Selfish. Selfish, all right. Blue lens for offshore. Feel like all right, my, no fish. I feel like my bait is gone. Right here. Your bait? You're get on. him, Brian. I'll put this away. Get him, get him. All right, I just saw this blow up on the surface. It looks more like a kingfish bite. But we got to get him in quick anyway. I don't know what we it was. We are in the S-word territory. Yeah, we reset. All right. So, 30 pound fluoro leader, very light. Let's go, sizzle. Get over Might just be a bonita, we don't know. We're gonna go on this side, I think. That was so fast. We reset and it was an instant hookup. Yeah. On the flat lines. You gotta be so close. Oh, king, king, king. Dip right. down, dip down. There goes the king screech. Yep. Like a 10 pounder. You can bring it over here if you we'll want. We'll take him. What? All right, it's on Watch out, he's under the boat. No lines over there, you're fine. There you go, there you go. Oh, that was a tail gaff. Oh well. It's okay. He's in the boat. <laughs> yeah, you know, we had him on mono. Woo! Crazy. Had him on uh, 30 pound mono and uh, you know, sharks around, so. Whip that fish's butt just stick now. Him, just stick them in, stick them wherever you can. Yeah. At that point, because who knows when the big mama bull shark was coming up to eat him. And I'm going to drop a bait yeah, they, real They will quick. come to the boat and run, so when they come close to the boat, if you want to avoid that next run, you got you to stick them, so you get them where you can. Yeah, he was like literally about to take off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude. Great job. <laughs> Nice one. There's a lot of kingfish around right now in South Florida. So if you Look at that circle here, right in his face. Right you got to come. Nose. Perfect. Yeah. You literally got to come out here and catch them come up down for a with your like family and your kids, and it's so much fun. I just, I just want to mention, like a lot of times, especially Darcy on the bottom hooks the fish through the bottom jaw and up like this. Okay, but I find particularly like if you're doing like a flat line or something, the kingfish is just going to either, especially if you, have a, if you have a small bait. You're just gonna bite that whole thing off and you're gonna lose your hook because they usually bite the tail. But if you have a small bait, they'll bite the whole thing. Um, or they might just pluck it right off. So a lot of times I will hook it through the back, like in this B-roll. And uh, that seems to, I mean, you know, which I'm trying to catch other fish besides kingfish. That's why I'm using mono. But, you know, I'm also maximizing my chances of catching a kingfish if he does bite the mono by having a hook, in my opinion, through the back like this. And you can see that last kingfish he bit the fish and the hook was pointing up through the back and it went through the top of his mouth and he didn't cut the hook off and, and we did great. So, uh, you know, two things, the hook placement on top of the fish and also in the middle of the fish. Because again, kingfish bite fish in half. Is he on? <laughs> oh my God, it's a 50 foot leader. Get your thin gloves because I'm almost up. <laughs> All right. All right, we're hooked up. <laughs> I was literally reeling on my line so we can clear it. We still got a flat out. We're gonna go move about eight miles away to a bottom fishing spot. Literally hooked up. Oh my god, this is a nice tuna. It I might think. be a tuna. I think this is a tuna. But problem is, he ate it on a 50 foot leader. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh god, I'm so nervous. Get that okay. out of the way. We're deep. We're deep. We're deep. I know we're deep, but it's still bad. <laughs> Your fish got in 170. I'm leaving this out. Your fish got in 170, man. Oh, did he? Yes. Here we oh. go. Top shot. Hold on, let me get something. Here we go. Okay, I got it, I got it. Okay. Hold your line, he might pull out. I got, out of I got it, I got it, I'm holding it. Okay, go, 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 go. drop your leader a little bit. I mean, your, your uh. Okay, this is gonna keep happening. I did. Oh God, this is not good. Gone. Sharked. Mother! There's no way we're landing that fish on a 50 foot leader. No way. We kept pulling line back out. It was a 20 pound fish. Damn it, man. All right, we're so mad about these tunas. We're going to try it again. There's two <laughs> lines, and uh, we're going to charge them with the boat. Hopefully, get into the bite. We're all wasting our time, one or the other. There he is. Nervous, nervous, nervous. Freaking out. Absolutely freaking out. My line went tight for like two seconds. Hot. Yeah, he's gone. Unbelievable. You on? I am hooked up. I don't know how he's not coming to me, but... Tell 
Tell me what's going on. He's good. You're good. He's on his head over here. All right, neutral. Catch up. Okay, go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Sailfish, sailfish, sailfish. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, all right. Neutral. I don't know what why is he's that? doing that. I don't know. What is it? I don't know. It's alarming. Come look. Is it the boat? Come look. Yes, it's the boat. Wait. No, these are not on. This is not on. This is not flashing. No, nothing. All right, all right. Come on, get this fish. Come on, get this fish. Can you turn the camera off? Oh, my God. He might get sharks. Let's get him in. You want to back it up then? I'm, I'm scared because the alarm keeps going off. You want me to back up again? I'll turn around. I'll turn around. Chase him down. No. No? Don't chase the fish. <sighs> no. No, he didn't get shocked. Hook came out. I knew there were a band, but I, I want to know what's going on with that alarm. Yeah, I mean, both times when I put through it in reverse and stopped. And, and went neutral, it started to alarm again. And I, I'd not seen anything on those tacks, on the monitors, on the, nothing. Nothing that's telling me why it's beeping. And I didn't count the amount of the alarms either. So maybe I need to count it when it goes off again. But it was when I reversed both times. And I put it in neutral, two seconds later it started alarming me. And the boat was already like on. I didn't turn the boat on or touch the ignition or nothing like that. I, mean, I have no idea. So on that sailfish, the hook just pulled. Just fine. I want the stupid sailfish anyway. Stupid sailfish, jeez. I'm bitter. I'm bitter. He's very grumpy over here. I got the hook back. You know, that's what happens. Sometimes they just pop off. You know, I had him. I had it on uh, heavy drag to bring a tuna in as fast as I could. So, you know, part of the game. Sailfish come off it when they jump around like that. I don't know, you probably couldn't see many jumps because my 360 camera battery died at the same time. At least we got a range of where we're getting bites. Yep, same exact area. That's where we hooked the, the tailfish this morning. That's where the fish are. Come on, come on, come on. He's on, he's on, he's on. All right, we're hooked up. Oh. <laughs> get him, Sizzle, get him. You don't have to break the weight. Where is he? Up on the surface. Okay, okay. Surface. He's on the surface. Oh it's not, not a king, right? Okay, go. He's close. He's close. It's Benita. What? Benita. Oh. Big Benita. <laughs> All right. I want to land him. All right, I know. We need two. We need baits. Back up. Oh my God. I know. There's a shark right here, Brian. Where? I don't know, but you need to get this fish up. I know. Well, uh, you want me to get him? Playing with it. I'm trying. I'm trying to save his meat. You goof. Shit! This is stalemate. This is what you don't want ever. All right, all right, all right. Good job. Saved all the meat. Good job. You did a great job. That's a stud. Oh, that is a monster, dude. Can you imagine that was a tuna? <laughs> Well, those last couple tuna we fought were straight up and down. Now this big old Bonita, even though he's a member of the tuna family, he just came up and he went straight to the surface. And so I just knew that wasn't your typical tuna. But look at that. The bait is hanging out of his mouth, flipping. Maybe I can save it. Hold on. <laughs> we don't have a lot of bait. Get him in the well. No, he's totally dead. He's totally dead. Just kidding. <laughs> Look at that beast. He's a lunker, oh. dude. Switch. That was the biggest bonita I've seen in a while, frankly. Big old. Let me see. He's so pretty. Let me see. Point and bonita right there. And Brian literally did a great job. Saved every piece of meat because I'm going to make some beautiful strips yeah. out of that for trolling. And you can see right here, 
the line. The line. Well, well, the line. Marks yeah, from the line. Where rubs on them by his eye. Yeah. And that's what you get on your typical tunas as well. But beautiful fish. Yeah, gorgeous. Gorgeous. So we're gonna treat this just like any other fish, even though a lot of people consider this a trash fish. Excellent bait fish. So I'm gonna bleed them out, and we're gonna get them right on ice. Perfect. Unfortunately, I literally believe that was the first bonita we've hooked all day long. And all the other fish were good tuna. I'll take it though, that's 20 strips right there. 18. Yeah, we're like low on strips. 16, 18 strips, that's worth. How are you doing? So they got a little 80, messy. 80 bucks at the store. Got a train wreck. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> I'll be home all day in blood. That's just, yeah, I'm covered in it. Not my blood, don't worry guys. I know anytime <laughs> they see a picture in this blood, they're like, what happened to your knee? Like, it's <laughs> the fish's blood. <laughs> oh, Edie, Edie, come back, come on, come on. Yeah, I wanna get it bait down, but yeah, I got, I'm on. I wanna get it bait down before they came. What do you mean you're on, you have a fish? Yeah. It's not big. No. All right guys, so we, swimming forward. we decided to do some anchoring. Doing it's low late. It's like way later than we'd ever be out here. We're here doing all day today. All, all the fishing. Can you give me the damn thing? Where up is there, it? Up there, baby. Up there, baby. Up oh, there, baby. Gotta okay, grab. Okay, okay, okay. Why don't you have your gloves? I don't know. I didn't know where they were. Oh, my thing pulled slid out. up. Pulled out. Up. Pulled out. What happened? Pulled out of his mouth. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. All right. Well, we just got it two seconds ago. We're even ready. To eat, ready. How long is your leader? Jesus. It slid down no. the light. Oh, no, it broke off. Broke off. Maybe well, a king. Have, please let me have it. Thanks. <laughs> so uh, we reset, or we try to do some anchoring, because we got a new anchor, a new anchor system, so I want to try that out. And we caught some ballyhoo with the ballyhoop. We did a whole video on that recently, and it's on Facebook, too, so check that out. But uh, Great. got some more live bait. So we're really destroying it today. Learning a lot of new stuff and doing some new things, but it's just been a long day. So yeah, and we caught all kinds of stuff, broken off all kinds of stuff, and we just have three fish in the cooler. But no complaints about that. It's better than zero. We literally don't need more fish. Well, why are we still fishing it? Because we're learning. This is how you, we're working or learn. <laughs> this is our training. We're it's like training. dark to dark today. Dark to dark. <laughs> we're practicing. Sunrise and sunset. That's right. What's that? What's going on? Oh, he's there. He's not there. What's going on, babe? He's there. You gotta talk. I'm sorry. You on? Yeah, maybe. What's he doing way over here, though? Oh. Okay. Just tell me what to do. We gotta get some gloves on and get this fish. He's on the surface. Get the rod down. I got the rod right here. Get ready. Just back off the drag. I did back off the drag. Here's this little baby. It's flippity floppity out here. Watch my leader. Let's not get the boat all bloody for him. I know. Swing in the back, maybe. Okay. Bonita on the bottom. That happens this time of year. All right. Woohoo! It's a nicer choker. Oh, it's a good size one, actually. It's a nice choker right there. So I'll look right in the corner. Ate that ballyhoo. That's probably what ate mine Actually now. pilchered. Oh, sorry. Pilchered. You get the ships out of him. Yeah, that's a nice one. Ain't nothing wrong with that. No complaints with that fish. Good job. Yeah, nice. All right. All right, number two in the boat. We're going to bleed him out in the back here and uh, get him in the well. I mean, cooler. We got to take care of this fish. I got another fish. Must be a bonita. See, what do you want me to do with my rod? I don't know. It's a bigger bonita, whatever it is. Let me get my rod out of the way. I don't know. I want you to get gloves on, but I won't. I know. It's awful stripping down to be a freaking bonita, though. Come Straight on. Straight up and down. Careful, this, everybody. I mean, this line off me. In case he takes off. Color. It's like a mutton. Yeah, it's a mutton. Get over here. Nice fish. Nice fish. Real nice fish. We did it! Brian, get him. You get him. Just grab him. We did it! Yeah, you did. <laughs> nice job! 
up. Let me uh, move him over here. That fish swam all the way up because he was not blown up because it's shallower than that fish I caught earlier. But Brian just caught another nice five pound fish. You stop talking about my yeah. fish, that's my fish. That was a ballyhoo? No, that was on the pilchard. Pilchard once again. Jeez, we're rocking and rolling here. Wow, guys, look at that. Epic nice fish. fish. This fish is much... Um, Bigger than color, yours? The color is like darker. He's not as pink. And it has to do with where he lives and structure and whatnot. But that's a beautiful fish. Maybe a more of like a shallow water fish, but gorgeous. Yeah. Nice job. We did it. Woo, we did it. In my mouth. I mean, hook in my mouth. Awesome. Yeah, he actually is blown up just a tad. You know, we decided, you know, we wanted to try That's this. That's a beautiful fish. Yeah, you know, we wanted to, we wanted to catch ah! buttons in our home waters and, and anchor and do it the right way. We literally and went and bought the anchor yesterday. And bought a new anchor like, yesterday. Yeah, it's a claw anchor. Yeah. And we got all the, you know, we've been anchoring lately and practicing and working. And like I said before, we're out here practicing. So we freaking did it, man. Good job. What a that great trip. Awesome. That's awesome. That, that makes the trip. Well, I'll just go home now. Well, I'm putting my bait right back down. <laughs> I know you are. <laughs> I gotta try to catch one more spot, I know, baby. and then we're going home. I know, baby. We're just teasing. All right. No, seriously, though, we can't be out here forever. Okay. And ever. All right. So let's just make sure we don't have a tangle. You had no idea you had, me, you had even a fish on. Oh. We got it. We got a. I think he's gone. You got a ballyhoo or another thing? Filtered. I'm gonna check. Maybe he's there. What? Maybe he's there. He's there. All right, good. This fish have been like coming up towards us. Nice fish. Nice fish. Really nice fish. Digging back down again. We better catch him. You're not I rushing enough. I have to pump. I have to pump. I can't get enough. I can't get mine. You're not, you're not, you don't have enough urgency right now. There's your fish. We gotta get him up, baby. Come on. She's so rocky. Here, here. I see it. Go walk to the front. All right, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. Come on, baby. Okay, I got it. He's coming. Less in the drag, less in the drag. You got him, baby. You got him. Oh my God. Is there something under here? Oh, here grab what? this, grab this. Wait, baby, tell me what to do. Get it off my arm. <laughs> I'm tangled. Color. Come on, come on, I'm all messed Brian, up. Brian, come on, you gotta get this out of your hand. I don't know what's Let going go, on get it out of your hand. Which I can fish anymore. Baby, you gotta get this fucking off. Stop. Of you. Nice mutton, nice mutton, nice right, mutton. Right, People, flip them, flip them, flip them right in. I will, I'm gonna flip them over. Flip them right in. So I get that line out. He was wrapped, that's what happened. All right. He got wrapped on the ocean floor. All right, that's a keeper, right? Hold on, we'll check. <laughs> I got Just in case. But yeah, uh, what I, I'm happened pretty sure. Was, I got this rock. Yeah, you even said bottom. You even said you got caught on the bottom. Yeah, I felt it come off the bottom and then it felt like a grouper. But reason being because I was dragging up this beautiful piece of coral. All right, he's 20. He's 20. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy, dude. Woo, it is tough out here, guys, with these conditions and like just the two of us. And even then, like we're still like, whatever, like just going back and forth with all kinds of stuff going on, boat rocking all over the place. We're still making it happen. like. That's what you gotta do out here in the ocean. We paid our dues today, baby. Yeah, I'm gonna throw it out. Where's my hook? Oh. oh, sorry. All right, nice mutton. That's your average size keeper mutton right there. Well, I don't know. Average size is 18 and a half inches. This he is 20. Keep. He it looks, looks so small. We got ballyhoo back here. Oh yeah, we got the chum. You won't believe it. There's ballyhoo back here. <laughs> 70 feet of water. Yeah, buddy. All right, and Brian's gonna bleed him out for me. You might send them one more bait for good luck. Oh my start lord. Start cleaning up while I do that. All right. And get out the hell out of here. Oh, I thought that was a good fish. <laughs> Dang, man. It is a good fish. No, I just meant like a grouper. Just the way it fought. Like, it didn't feel like no mutton. Ooh, look at that rainstorm, our sizzle. It's gnarly out there, man. We had a roll. Yeah, we gotta come in. So I gotta got tell a quick story, though. I threw Darcy's favorite rod overboard, and then we both got really mad, and then this big storm came, and then we had to leave. I just couldn't believe he did it. It was like slow motion, just flying out of his hand. The hook was stuck on the bottom, we were yeah. trying to free it. And I handed the rod off to Brian, fully loaded with like tons of pressure on it, and he just literally lost grip. And I've never done that in my entire life, so just gotta say. Yeah, you know, the, hook got, you know, the hook got stuck, and then you, know, you get really, really tight, and then you pull it with a straight rod, 
and have so much tension. I freaking shower my hands. We're both like looking at it like yeah. idiots. So we're about to flay up one of the fish we caught, but also, yes. you know, in that video too, like you always say, like if you don't have video or a picture of it, it didn't happen. So that's the worst part of this is that we <laughs> didn't even have it on right. film. So right. nobody even knows. And uh, then we weren't mad. We struggled to stay there and see if we could actually snag it and see if we could catch it again and bring it back to the boat because it's only 70 feet of water yeah. off a popular dive area, which is sure somebody has my rod yeah, right so now. So if you have our rod, let us know. Well, why don't you put a link? Why don't you put a picture of it right here? Because it's in the bottom of the ocean. It's and not there anymore. Anyway, it's a Torium 20 PGA yeah. on, Miami, on a Miami Mountain Man it's rod. a highly popular dive spot that boats are there every day, multiple times a day, and I guarantee somebody it's has right that off, rod. It's right off breakers on about 70 feet or 80 yeah. feet. Yeah, so whoever's watching this, please spread the word. And if you do want to give it back, that would be great. But here's a picture <laughs> of me, and the last picture of me with a beautiful mountain I caught before it went overboard. So, <laughs> yep, paid for the whole combo too, guys. Like. It just yeah, hurts. Yeah, it wasn't a sponsor or whatever. Yeah, it was like $800. Well, I guess, well, I guess the, the uh, Miami Mountain did give it, get us the rod. No, I paid for that too. Oh, okay. It was a $800 combo. <laughs> I mean, I paid for the rod. I paid. We paid for the reel and all the braid and all the, you know, everything on it. All right, so, so uh, just be careful with your rod. Don't just hold on tight. Yep, we learned that lesson hard. So, yeah. and then we had to give up, try to catch it because of the storms. So that's yeah, it was it, really guys. bad. Yeah, it was lightning. Oh, no. We had and a great day. It was a long day. We had a great day. We caught a ton of fish actually. Uh, we kept chipping away at it and yeah. anchored up good and did a great job. Yep, yep, that's about it, guys. But <laughs> hopefully, until our next adventure, we'll put all, show you guys some a lot more great content and all that good stuff. Stay tuned. Follow your dream and I keep, keep on, on catching. catching.